So there are five transactions here. Two receipts from customers. We have two direct debits and over half overdraft interest that need to be posted onto Sage. So transactions that we've missed. So let's start at the top. We have Bronson, £1,200 in on the 3rd of the 5th, 2013. So let's go to Sage. Now we want to, we can either minimize this box or we can save it. I recommend, recommend you save it. So click save. And then when we load that box up again by clicking reconcile, you have this box appear saying, do you want to load your previous statement? Say yes, which is you saved. If you click discard saved, it will wipe what you've done. You have to start again. So click you saved. And this is where we were before, you know, our two transactions we've matched. So let's save that again. So this first transaction we need to put on Bronson's £1,200. So let's click, click on supplier. There are supplier of ours. Bronson, there we go, £1,200. So we received it on the 3rd of the 5th, 2013. That's what we're putting the date. The amount is 1200 If you've taken my basic Sage training course, then you'll know all about this, which click in there, click pay in full. And the reference I'm going to put Bax, because it was received by Bax. Let's click save, click yes. Let's do this other transaction while we're here. This is Johnson Design, 2000 pounds or $2,000. So Johnson Design, there we are, that's the one there, 5th of the 4th. We received it by Bax on the 5th of the 5th. So 0505. Pay in full. And once again, the reference is Bax. Let's click Save. Yes. Okay, so let's go back to our reconcile screen by clicking on the reconcile icon. Click you saved, otherwise it'll discard what we have saved. And you'll notice these two, two transactions are now up here on what's posted on Sage, because we've just posted them. So with the 1200 and the 2000, which are these two here. So let's double click on both of them and mark them off on our statement. Once again, I just put ticks next to these on the paper statements. Um, but I'm coloring them in green because it's an E statement. Okay. We now have a direct debit for electricity and a direct debit for water. So supplier, let's say we're with Eon. Let's bring Eon up. There's the, the invoice we received about a month ago. That's what the direct debit relates to. The 9th of the 5th, 2013. The payment went out. So let's do the same on Sage. 9th of the 5th, 2013. Check number. It wasn't a check. It was direct debit. So I'm going to put double D in there. And then pay in full. And save. And then let's do the water bill too. Affinity water. 24510. Is that the one? Yep, 24510. On the 11th of the 5th. Direct debit once again. Pay in full. Save. Okay. Let's bring up our reconcile box again by clicking reconcile. Use saved. And once again, here are those direct debits with the 5376 and the 2510. Bring up our statements, 5376, 2510. So let's double click on both of them, bring them down to our statement. Now, as we're working through this statement, you'll see down here that there's a matched balance, a statement balance, and then a difference. Okay, so this is the ending of the balance that we ended up here. So the end balance 162473 goes down in this box. Then it shows us what we've matched so far. So we've matched 161102, so 1611 pounds or dollars and two cents or two pence. And there's 13 pounds 71 still to go. 
to fully have this statement match our real bank statement. Okay, it's just handy to keep an eye on that figure, and the difference should be zero once we have finished. So let's save this once again. We'll come back to it in a minute. Let's highlight these two in green. So we get one more transaction for £13.71 over draft interest on the 13th or the 5th. So this one's a payment. And once again, if this is confusing you a bit, you might want to go back and take my basic Sage training course. Um, so it was the 13th or the 5th, 2013. The nominal code, the 7900s are interest and bank charges. So let's do bank interest paid. So it was over a draft interest. Let's put that in detail. So over draft interest. And it's 1371. Let's just check on that. Over draft interest, 1371. Obviously, there's no VAT on that. Let's put that as T9. OK. Click Save. Go back to our Reconcile screen. Click You Saved. And there it is, 1371. Let's click on that. You'll notice the difference is now zero, as I mentioned before. And our bank statement will be the same as our, our bank statement in real life. Because we haven't double-clicked on these transactions in order, the transactions may be um, not the same in the same order as the bank statement, but the opening and closing balances will be, um, and the transactions will be the same even if they're not in the same order. And that's the most important thing. So let's click reconcile. Once this shows as zero, and only when it shows as zero, you need to click reconcile. If you ever get confused with these bank reconciliations and you need extra guidance, just get in contact with me and I'll, I'll give you a hand. So click reconcile. Well now it'll take a little while, we'll say processing, it'll take a little while to load up. Okay, now that's done. Let's look at the next statement on our bank's statements.